This is insane. This is insane. This is insane. And as far as Kanye West, first of all, I didn't already told you, whether it's Kanye West, whether it's Childish Gambino, whether it's Jesse Lee P, whoever, if you got a white woman, you can't speak for me. See, Kanye West cannot speak for Dr. Umar because Kanye West married out of his race. The minute he married that white woman, he automatically vacated his right to speak for me and to me. No black man married to a white woman has anything to say to me about black consciousness or the black reality. No black man married to a white woman can ever talk to me about black problems or black consciousness. I don't care if it's Kanye West. I don't care if it's Childish Gambino. They don't speak for me. They don't speak for me at all. And what Kanye West did by calling slavery a choice, all he did was attack the foundation upon which reparation stands. By Kanye West opening his politically uneducated mouth, he simply gave credence and undue influence and power to the white narrative that they don't owe black people anything because it was black people who sold us into slavery. Well, if that's the case, if that's the case, if that's the case, if you're telling me the white man owes me nothing because African kings participated in slavery, some African kings, then somebody tell me, why do we keep seeing brand new movies about the European Jewish Holocaust? Because what do we know about the European Jewish Holocaust? We know that it was European Jews in New York City on Wall Street, who financed Adolf Hitler's Holocaust against the European Jews. So if you're telling me I can't speak about my slavery because some black people participated, then I'm telling you, you can't speak to me about the Jewish Holocaust because the Jewish Holocaust was 100% financed by Jewish bankers. Let me say it again. I said the Jewish Holocaust was 100% financed by Jewish bankers. So if Jews can still talk about their oppression, even though Jews finance their oppression, black people can still talk about our ma'afa, even though some, some black people participated in the slave trade. But what Kanye West obviously doesn't understand, and this is why black people have to stop letting athletes and entertainers be our spokespersons. This is why black people have to stop letting athletes and entertainers be our spokespersons. This is why black people have to stop letting athletes and entertainers be our spokespersons. You want to know why? Because most of them are politically uneducated. Most rappers and athletes are politically uneducated. Furthermore, they make their living at the feet of the white power structure. So when you ever want an honest opinion from a black athlete or an entertainer, the opinion is going to be watered down because he or she will be afraid to tell the truth because they don't want to lose white support for their product. The black athlete and the black entertainer are coons by profession. The black athlete and the black entertainer are coons by profession. The black athlete and the black entertainer are coons by profession because their success depends on a regular popular base of support from their oppressors, white folks. White folks. White folks. Kanye West must have never heard of the Underground Railroad. Kanye West must have no idea of the tens of thousands of black men, women, children, and elders who escaped on the Underground Railroad, some of them captured and killed and drowned to death, castrated, feet and toes and fingers cut. Obviously, Kanye West don't understand that most of our people fought back and resisted the dehumanizing institution of slavery. We didn't accept it. 
obviously he's been listening to the wrong narrative, a narrative that says that black people were docile and that we unresistingly accepted slavery imposed on us. Nothing could be further from the truth. Nothing could be further from the truth. One of the reasons Abraham Lincoln wanted to relocate Africans out of America is because the fear of a race war during slavery. Did Kanye West know that? Did you know that, Mr. West? Did you know that, Mr. West? One of the reasons Abraham Lincoln wanted black men out of America is because there was a fear of a race war. Did you know that, Mr. West? Do you know that there's thousands of documented Examples of black men who murdered their slave masters. Did you know that, Mr. West? Did you know that, Mr. West? Did you know black people were running away from slavery by the thousands living in private communities all throughout this country? Some known as Maroons and some still keeping their native African language and cultural identity. Did you know that, Mr. West? I'm sure you heard of a Nat Turner, I hope. I'm sure you heard of a Denmark Vesey, a Gabriel Prasa, a Nanny of the Maroons, a Shaka Kagona, a Ya Ashantiwa, a Queen in Zynga. We never accepted oppression laying down. Have you ever heard of Ebo Landing? Mr. West? Where hundreds of Ebos, enslaved Africans from Nigeria and Georgia, walked back into the water and drowned themselves with the slave chains on because they said it was better to die than live a slave. Did Kanye West know that? Stop letting rappers and athletes speak for you. Stop letting black men with white women speak for you. We must speak for ourselves. Slavery wasn't no damn choice, but Mary and Kim Kardashian was. Slavery wasn't no choice, but Mary and Kim Kardashian was. Slavery wasn't no choice, but Mary and Kim Kardashian was. How are you going to disrespect our ancestors? We got a 400-year heritage of fighting back against oppression. And you got the audacity to say slavery was a choice. Slavery was imposed, but we chose to fight it. And the reason some people did not fight it is because they were strategizing and planning a greater resistance movement against the slave empire. They didn't want to take their own life because they wanted to be around to make sure their children had a life. I said they didn't want to take their own life because they wanted to be around to make sure their children had a life. The Amistad Rebellion was only one case of blacks on slave ships who rose up. Madison, Madison, Washington is another case of blacks on slave ships who rose up. There was thousands of examples of blacks on slave ships who rose up and took the slave ship back over. Kanye West don't know his history and a Negro who don't know his history need to keep his damn mouth shut. Brothers and sisters, I feel for Brother Kanye. He's mentally ill. I don't think he's ever healed from his mother dying. He married to a white woman. He got blonde hair. The brother is crazy. I just want him to keep his damn mouth shut. Don't speak for us because you're not one of us no more. Your name is Kanye Kardashian now. Your name is Kanye Kardashian now. Your name is Kanye Kardashian. Kardashian. You ain't African. You left your black woman in Chicago, remember? You left your black woman for a white woman. You don't belong to us. You are a Kardashian. Stay in your lane. Don't speak on our history because you do not know it. By telling white folks that slavery was a choice, you absolve them of more than 400 years of genocide, oppression, dehumanization, and enslavement. Don't you dare. Don't you dare dare break your breath and ever again speak up on behalf of your oppressor against your own people. Kanye West is the Benedict Arnold of the African race. Kanye West is the Benedict Arnold of the African race. 
Keep your damn mouth shut. And that's why we need the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy so we can properly educate black children about what's really going on. That's why we need the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy so we can properly educate black children about what's really going on.